Mark Elliott always wanted to own his own business. So after falling in love with Pokey while working on his business degree at the University of Hawaii, the young entrepreneur decided to take the Hawaiian cuisine home to Guam. And I found that uh, basically there's not really a lot of uh, places to, you know, find a good, fresh, uh, freshly made Pokey. So uh, I coupled that with uh, my, uh, my love of uh, food trucks, because uh, over in Hawaii they have a lot of food trucks, right? It's a big subculture. And then I noticed here that, you know, it's just a a burgeoning, kind of a fledgling industry, right? Pokies offers a number of flavors for the tuna pokey they sell, including various pika or spicy flavors, as well as wasabi mayo, traditional Hawaiian, and a new flavor based off of ponzu sauce. We also uh, uh, do uh, offer the option for the customer to throw any of those flavors into one of our preparations. We do a wrap, like a taco truck wrap, a salad, a uh, musubi, like a, you know, a little tenmusu rice ball, and also a, um, uh, uh, just a regular uh, Donbri rice bowl. As a small business owner himself, Elliot likes to look for ways that he can partner with other businesses on the island. Thanks for coming to Pokey. Currently, we're looking around, trying to source our uh, fish from a local fisherman, actually. Mm -hmm. To make the best Pokey, it has to be like uh, very fresh, like usually the day of and stuff like that. Pokies is usually found parked behind the district court in Inigua, but Elliot does take the food cart elsewhere. Recently, he sold out of Pokey at UOG's Charter Day festivities, and he's also found success parking outside of concerts and occasionally partners with bars. Betsy Brown, PNC News.